Biden has all of the means at his disposal to bring this to an end, to draw a red line for the genocidal Israeli government and military, and he continues to refuse to. So we are here today to draw the people's red line. People want a ceasefire now, they want an arms embargo, and they want an end to the slaughter immediately. Uh, Biden saying that you know, for him, the invasion of Rafah would be a, a red line that you know, would cause him to, to reconsider uh, American diplomatic and military support to Israel. And then we saw that red line was was crossed and nothing happened. The armaments, shipments continued unabated and so we want to call his bluff and say that you can't keep moving the goalposts and that this genocide needs to end. The red line means blood on Biden's hands on all the countries that are supporting, not just the United States, I mean, I'm disgusted that, that the United States is supporting, but the red line is all the people, all the countries that are supporting this, this blood is on your hands, and that's what the red line means, and it means enough, we've had enough. End this now, and end the apartheid, not even ceasefire, end this occupation, this is enough.